And this video is sponsored by Sack Sack, the grape drink. Just kidding, it's not sponsored, obviously. This just happens to be my favorite drink from H Mart. I mean, just look at its packaging, it's just so adorable. So, it's been a hot minute since you guys last saw me on this platform and I do apologize for that and it's especially embarrassing that I have a banner on my channel that says new videos every week and yet my last video was in February 2022 and I would like to say that I do have some legitimate reasons a lot of life changes like work, family, travel but you know, when it comes down to it, there's really no excuse to not have made a video, at least a few videos in almost a year. So as I was reflecting at the end of last year, why I only made videos at the beginning of the year, I realized that it all boiled down to one cause, which is self-doubt. Every time I wanted to make videos again, I just had this little nagging voice inside my head that said, do you have what it takes? What makes you think that you can become successful if you haven't posted in such a long time? What's the point of even trying now? What makes you think you'll ever be successful at this? And so that voice just kept going on and on inside my head. And that voice made me not ever want to pick up the camera or even think about ideas for YouTube. But eventually, I got tired of this inaction stemming from self-doubt. I also had this other side of me that really wanted to continue doing this. And so with the new year, I knew that something had to change. It just so happens that around the height of my self-doubt, a friend introduced me to this really cool new AI tool called ChatGPT. If you guys don't know what ChatGPT is, it's basically a chatbot that responds in a very conversational manner, almost as if there's a person talking to you on the other side of it. And you could basically ask it any questions and it would come up with a very reasonable response, whether it's writing an outline for a paper or a video, um, asking it for advice, or helping you come up with a list of ideas for a project. And when I first tried it, my mind was blown because if you have just told me that there was a person answering all those questions that I asked it, I would not have blinked an eye because the responses were just so rational and reasonable. There were no typos at all. Like it really did seem like there was someone talking to me. And I thought, what better idea than to ask ChatGPT if it could help me create a plan to overcome my self-doubt? Because who needs a therapist when you have an AI chatbot, am I right? So I thought I'll bring you guys along with me to my therapy session with ChatGPT and see whether its recommendations and advice are actually helpful um, and if I could draw any additional insights from its suggestions. So I'm going to chat.open.ai Okay. I'm going to say, type in, create a plan to overcome self-doubt. Okay, now it's spitting out a bunch of tips. Wow, this is way more in-depth than I expected. It looks like it's done. Number one, identify the source of your self-doubt. Are there certain situations or triggers that cause you to doubt yourself? Understanding the root cause can help you address the problem more effectively. So I guess this is what would normally happen in a therapy session too, right? I have no idea. I've only been to one therapy session and I feel like they've also asked me to try to identify the roots of my problems, which easier said than done. Yeah, I think my self-doubt stems from two, two major issues. 
So the first one is because I consume YouTube so much, I constantly compare myself against other creators whose work I love and have admired for many, many years. Um, and every time I look at my videos, I think they're subpar compared to those creators. But I guess I don't really give myself some slack for you know how much more experience they've had in their YouTube career compared to mine. And so I guess there's this quote somewhere that's basically saying that you know, you always see other people's end products, but you never see their first step. So you never see the mess behind the scenes, whereas all you see of your work is the messy parts. Um, and I think, yeah, I think just that comparison between already successful creators is um, a source of self-doubt for sure. And I think the second major source of my self-doubt is just not being sure if this is the right fit for me and if all of the work that I'm putting into YouTube is really worth it. Because every time I make a video, I'm really sacrificing a lot of time and I just don't know if it's a waste of time. Um, is all this work going to amount to anything? Like, I guess there's just no way to tell besides going forward and continue to produce videos. Set small achievable goals. Accomplishing small tasks can help build confidence and momentum. As you achieve each goal, celebrate your success. So I think for me, instead of focusing on the output, like the numbers, um, how good the video is, I should really be celebrating my progress in terms of quantity. Because again, for me, that is the way that I could practice those skills that I need to build up to better videos. So for this year, I think something that I could celebrate as progress would just be as simple as posting a video a week, even if some of the videos really suck and I'm not proud of them. I think I could still be proud of the fact that I put effort into practicing the skills of video making. There was actually an interesting social experiment done in a photography class where the professor gave um, each half of the class a different assignment. So one half of the class got the assignment to create the best photograph they could create for the final project and they would be graded on that one photograph. So that was all they had to do throughout the semester, no other assignments, just one photograph. On the other hand, the other half of the class had to submit 10 photos per week throughout the semester and they were just graded on completion, whether they submitted 10 photos every week. And what the professor noticed at the end of this experiment, um, once the semester was over, was that the half of the class that consistently took photos with no pressure to make them high quality actually ended up with the highest quality photos at the end of the semester. Whereas the other half of the class that only had to take one photo for the final project actually didn't have as great of photos because they weren't spending that semester practicing and honing their skills. So the takeaway here is to emphasize quantity over quality when it comes to beginning a creative skill. And honestly, I think it applies to other skills as well, not just creative, because by consistently taking action and doing something, increasing your skills incrementally each time you do it. Learn from failure. Failure is a part of life and can be a valuable learning experience. If you fail, don't let it define you. Instead, use it as an opportunity to learn and grow. I still get pretty discouraged by setbacks and failures, which I guess in this sense is not seeing immediate feedback or success on the videos I spend a lot of time creating. In a way, it's kind of comforting to have this low stick setting in which I could make whatever videos I want and the only people watching are people who love me for who I am and won't judge low quality content. So the only way I could go from here is up. And I think I need to remind myself more of that. So that's it. Those are all the tips from ChatGPT, my very own therapist. But in all seriousness, I was pretty impressed by how it was able to come up with such a long list of relevant tips for the question that I asked. 
because I feel like self-doubt isn't a super concrete topic. I was still able to draw from all these sources and make some reasonable recommendations. So overall, I think ChatGPT did a pretty good job as my therapist, and I'll definitely be keeping its tips in mind as I work towards overcoming my self-doubt as a creator. I hope you guys enjoyed this little experiment as much as I did, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye.